what an awesome privilege to be here today. A sacrifice was made that we commemorate. A sacrifice by our military personnel. Our families of military personnel. A sacrifice that affects generations after of our military personnel. A history that is now being revealed and told in its entirety, in its breadth, in its depth, in its awesomeness of the contribution to this great nation of our military personnel. But I must tell you, the sacrifice they made is very much like the sacrifice someone else made. I'm in two armies. I'm the privilege of being the chaplain or padre of WASP, the West Indian Association of Service Personnel. That's one service. But I'm in another army, the Army of God. And he's my commanding officer. And I'm here to tell you, he's a very loving commanding officer. And he has a second in command who's same as him, called Jesus Christ. And this is a time of us to remember. And my few words are to let us remember Christ's sacrifice for all mankind. Can I get an amen? Amen. Please, can I get a stronger amen? Amen. That's a powerhouse, amen. You see, amen is affirmment, agreement. Amen is something where the forces of darkness tremble at our acknowledgement of the reality of the goodness, the love, the power of God, and the awesomeness of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. The Lord Jesus made a sacrifice on Calvary's cross, a sacrifice in blood on that cross for each and every one of us when we didn't know him. I love how the word of God, the Bible puts it, whilst we were yet sinners, he died for us. Ultimate sacrifice, ultimate love. I'm here to tell you today, it doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, and it doesn't even matter what you believe. This is a fact. Some people tell me, I don't believe in God. I tell them God believes in you. The reality is this. Christ loves you more than you can imagine, more than we can understand, more than we can even receive. I encourage you to make room for Christ in your hearts. And within our hearts, we acknowledge and recognize the contribution through love, the contribution through duty, the contribution through bravery made by our armed forces. Our armed forces in the First and Second World Wars. And today, I honor those men and women around us now. They are awesome. Please let us give them a round of applause because they more than deserve it. We acknowledge you, we thank you, we thank you for your service, we thank you for your bravery, your heroism.
And most of all, you see this act of love, it's an amazing selfless thing that you do for others, not for yourself first. And I think we can recognize today's military personnel are no different from those that we acknowledge in our first and second world war and subsequent conflicts. They're making sacrifices of love for us. Can I get an amen? Amen. Now I charge us all on this awesome day of remembrance, 100 years. I charge every person here, every person listening, every person on a screen, a stream, a WhatsApp, an ITV, a BBC, I charge you all not to let down those who have made the sacrifice that we can live as we live today. I charge us all to live with love with one another. And that's the hardest thing, because there's an opposing force, a satanic force, a demonic force, an evil force that was recognized in both wars, a force that did wickedness beyond belief. It's doing it in the world today and did it in the world then, and I charge us all to stand against evil with good and the good within us. Can I have an amen? Amen. You see, we're all enlisted in God's army. We might not have the same awesome uniforms. We might not be able to stand to attention, hooray, as well as others. But when God calls you, he empowers you. You see, God empowers the called. He doesn't call the pastors, he doesn't call the reverence, he doesn't call the people in positions of authority. He calls those who are willing to serve. Can we get an amen? amen. Lest we forget our awesome, awesome contribution made by our military. Ephesians 6 in closing says about the warfare that we face and it's not physical, it's spiritual. We don't fight against flesh and blood. We fight against principalities, powers, spiritual wickedness in high places, rulers of the darkness of this age. So behind a physical war, there's a spiritual battle that goes on. And the Lord asks us to stand against that which is evil. And when we've done all else, stand again and stand a third time. Three stands and stand in him. Our military have stood for us. Let us share in acknowledgement of them, love of them and recognition of them. I'm honored to give a few words today. I'm a preacher. I'll talk forever on the goodness of God. I'm a son of a great serviceman, Sam King, one of our, our national heroes. Uh, a founder of the Windrush, an ex-RAF man, a man of the Second World War. So it's an honor and a privilege to be here because of the legacy. It's an honor and privilege to be here to recognize. And let us go from here and live a life that celebrates what our military have done. Can we get an amen? amen. And please give them a round of applause. Pass them present.